Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to give you a quick update on what this pattern is about to do because it is going to bring some cooler temperatures to the north half of the country, very hot temperatures to the south half of the country. But over here in the tropics, it is really heating up to a wide area of potential formation. So let me give you the latest updates. Now, first of all, you can see from your EPO, your East Pacific Oscillation, that you're about to go into a high ridge over on the west coast then you're going to go into a very deep trough all the way to the 6. And you can also see in your jet stream that it is going real deep all the way from the 4th and beyond. Now this is going to bring some cooler temperatures all the way from the west coast. Then it's going to come across the central of the U.S. Then it's going to come across the east coast, mostly towards the northeast. And you can also see on your PNA, your Pacific North American pattern, that we're about to go into a deep negative. Then we're going into a very high positive. So when you have your negative PNA pattern, all this cold air is coming to the northwest, also to the upper Midwest. And when you have your positive pattern, it continues on from the central to U.S. towards the east coast and the northeast. And you can see from your latest AO, your Arctic Oscillation, this is bringing some cool air with it all the way for the first half of June, maybe a little further. So as it goes all the way to the 4th and 6th, you get some cooler air right along the west coast. But you also get this cooler air that's coming in from the upper Midwest while you have this big heat dome all across the south and the southwest. And this does move across the central of the U.S. and across the northeast as well. This puts your highs around the 50s and 60s for the northern half of the country. Around the southern half, it's going to be anywhere from 85 to 100 plus degrees. And for your nighttime temperatures, it is going to bring anywhere from 40 to 50 degree temperatures on the northern half and maybe some 70s in the lower half. But it is going to bring a lot of cooler temperatures to the north side and a lot of warm temperatures to the south side. Now, this isn't bringing freezing temperatures that you need to worry about, but you can see as all this heat builds up all the way until the third, a lot of warm temperatures for everybody. But then we start getting that cool air anomaly coming in from the upper Midwest and the West Coast. As you go from the 5th and the 6th, just bring cooler temperatures in the 40s overnight, very hot temperatures in the south. And this will continue for the first half of June. At the same time, we're going to have some tropical activity. So this is going to play a good part, kind of a cold front block. I do see that we're going into another Rex block. Now you can see we have potential velocity anomaly that we do have some potential lift. This is potentially in the Gulf. I will show you. Then it will stay right along the southeast and the east coast with the strongest being in the Atlantic as we go through the beginning of June. And very few members show anything forming up just within the next four or five days in the Gulf. Most of them is showing it will be something weak if anything forms right before we go into this pattern over the southeast. And you can see your chances for a tropical depression in the next five days. It all moves to the eastern Pacific just like we're supposed to be in the pattern we have now. But then it's going to change. It's going to start bringing it towards the southeast. And your chances for at least a tropical depression will start to grow over to southeast right by florida and the carolinas and we could have the storm that we just had maybe a little bit stronger and it's not seen by just one weather model guys this is seen by multiples it is trending so you can see with the gfs it shows that maybe a surface low can try to form in the gulf but not really favoring that opportunity but right when you get around a second and a third all of them is showing right on a third. We're going to have a wide area of surface low pressure and something could form up out of that. Now, multiple options with this. GFS has shown that it will push to the east and nothing really will form out of that. Maybe a lot of heavy rainfall towards the Caribbean, maybe the Bahamas. Euro is also favoring this, guys. Right around a third, something has a good opportunity to form up and the Euro takes it where something is going to form and go out into the Atlantic we also could have something that could stay close to home like what we just had. And just to see if it's trending, you go with the Canadian. It is agreeing also by the third, strongest opportunity to form. And it's agreeing that we could still have both of those, one in the Atlantic and one off the East Coast. So when we look at the possibility of cyclone locations, according to the Euro, you can see with the ensembles that by next Friday, there is a good chance for a surface low to form up over the southeast of the Gulf of Mexico. Stay weak until it gets over Florida. Still have two surface lows and one comes in close. And you can see right there that you do have a high pressure and a low pressure. This would be a Rex block. This would stop this second one from going out to Atlantic and it would stay close to coast.
Now, so far, it is only bringing a lot of heavy precipitation. So with all the warm temperatures, you're bringing some rainfall towards the south central all the way into Canada. But you can see here from Europe with all this formation, all these thunderstorms that's growing up with the surface low, it brings heavy rainfall all the way from the western Caribbean, Bahamas, over Florida, and maybe to the mid-Atlantic as well and bring a lot of heavy rainfall just like what y'all just had. Now, we'll keep you updated. This is only a small update, but you can see with the GFS, there is a chance for a weak surface low to form up in the Gulf. But once you get to the third, then everything has a greater chance of forming up. And maybe you'll get a lot of thunderstorms, maybe a lot of rainfall, maybe something more. The concerning part is what I see with the Euro and the control member. You can see how the Euro agrees. Maybe you get a surface low by the second, by the third, strengthening up get two surface lows and still goes right up the coast, still north side loaded with all the heavy rainfall. Matter of fact, when you go by the control member of the Euro, you can see in five days, it does start to form up some low pressure in the Gulf and it strengthens up as it goes by the Southeast towards the Carolinas on the six. And that is the control member of the Euro, then pushing away. And you can see with the long range of the Euro that after we deal with this section where it's almost in a neutral phase, but there is some potential velocity anomaly that we will go into a phase when we get that cold front, it will be unfavorable conditions for our region. Then we're going to start getting a lot of lift right around the eastern Pacific side, where it's normally grown for this hurricane season. And definitely by July, it's going to start ramping up in multiple locations. Now, I didn't want to take up a lot of y'all time. It is on Sunday. I just want to give you a quick update what the upcoming patterns is. Remember, we have another one of these. We are picking a winner for today, and we have another one we're giving away for tomorrow. And our winner for the Solar Weather Station is JKY. Congratulations. You are the winner of the Solar Weather Station. Make sure you contact me at this email, weathermanplustoday at gmail.com. That way I can get your address and ship it to you. Weatherman. God bless. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much for your support. God bless you and your family. And I do hope you do like it. And that is it. Just a quick update. Let you know what these upcoming patterns will be. I will be doing stories on these, giving you a lot of good information on what the impacts will be in greater detail. So make sure you subscribe if you've never been here before. Make sure you hit the like button, guys, if you like these updates. And share this information. Let people know where our next area to watch has become. On a side note, thank you all for your prayers. God bless you and your family. My daughter is doing a lot better now. If you've never seen it, I always post on my community tab. If for some reason I don't upload, because I upload every single day except for a Sabbath, I do let you know in my community tab. I do let y'all know what's going on every single day. So thank you for your prayers. I appreciate every single one of you. Romans 13, 8 through 14. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that, knowing the time, and now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly and in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Amen. Thank you so much for your time this Sunday. God bless every single one of you. I will upload tomorrow for Memorial Day, not only to just tell y'all, hey, happy Memorial Day. Hello to all my 11 bang bangs out there. But to always upload, it is another day of work, guys. So I will see you again tomorrow, and I will update you on these so you know what these impacts are. And remember, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he always have mercy on us and keep peace in our homes every day of our life.
<laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.